do you feel stressed uh, knowing that you have any reasons? Yeah, since, you know, I found out Monday, yeah, since Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Very anxious? Well, yeah, when he called, when the doctor called me, he never calls me. Hi, this is Di, and my mom's here, and Jerry's driving, and in a shocking turn of events, I'm going to the hospital. So, uh, as you know, You don't know this. <laughs> they don't know you have a kid. No, oh yes, I have. But yeah, Gloria, this is what Gloria has done. She has inadvertently named the tumor and aneurysm in my head, Ting and Tang. Ting and Tang. Okay. She says, "How's Ting Tang?" So we are going to the hospital to see how Ting Tang are. I'm going to meet a new doctor. Cameron, whom I've never met before. He is from, I would not say his name on the internet. His first name is Cameron, that I can say. But on the internet, I would not say my doctor's name because then people go see him and what if he's not any good? Oh. Or, or they'll take all the appointments. Yeah, there you and go. And you won't be able to get in all and right. Ting and Tang will grow out of control. Yes. And you'll be all gorked out and it won't be bad. I just learned from Emily, she calls her doctors by her first name, and then that way there's not an issue with people knowing who your doctor is. Cameron. Cameron. So, Cameron. <laughs> so I'm going to see Cameron, and... Good old Cameron. I've never <laughs> met Cameron before, <laughs> and now I'm trusting him with Ting Tang. Well, you're not trusting with anything. Well, I'm you're trying to see if you trust yeah, him. Yeah, you're going to see if he knows anything about Ting Tang. I'm yeah. finding out his opinion about Ting Tang. Right. And I already trust that he knows because I looked up his stuff and he knows his stuff. He's written over 200 scholar scholarly articles. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking he knows about Ting Tang. And my disease is on the list of things he knows. I do have a neurosurgeon in Bethesda and I ate. I don't know his first name. I'm not saying his name on the vlog either. So Jerry is making plenty of opportunities for me to bleep things out. I'm going to give you a chance to edit. He's the DC doc. Come on, you, that's fun to say. Fun to say He's right? going to say it so many times. I'm going to have to edit this whole video out. We're going to meet him, see what his opinion is. I will get a second surgical opinion if they recommend surgery from NIH. The only thing I don't know, the big question mark and annoying uh, nerve-wracking part of this is that I do have the aneurysm. It's at six millimeters, which is considered like small, but if is aneurysm tang or tang? Tang is the tang. Oh no. Tang is the tumor. Tang is the tumor. Tang is the aneurysm. Yeah. There we go. Tang. tang so aneurysm. we just decided. Right. <laughs> no, I, I, this was previously said. I just, just, you know, don't want to lose track. It's like I have a giant headache. Yeah. <sighs> Try not to stress out. I don't want to blow. Blow a gasket. Or an aneurysm. Yeah. Well, we're on the way. We're on the way. Yeah, that's not soon enough with an aneurysm. Even if you're in the hospital, it's not soon enough. Well, it's a stroke. It's no, no, no. It's a brain bleed. It's a brain bleed, not that's a stroke. That's what a stroke is. Yeah. A stroke is death of that area of the brain. Yeah. Caused by a brain bleed. And I think aneurysm and stroke are totally different. I will Google it and we'll read it out loud in this vlog because we're stuck in traffic. You have to record it that Jerry was right. Okay. There's nothing I like more than an appointment time in massive traffic. I don't know what the approach is to aneurysm. I don't know if they're going to want to treat it right away or if they're going to want to wait because it's considered very small. This is a trip to the hospital where I could go in and the result could be see in six months, which is the most common response to these trips. Or it could be can you spend the night? And I, and it could be anything in between. So that's where we're at in the total abyss of having no knowledge of what's gonna happen next. This is a story arc. I would like to point out that I have an intriguing story happening right now. <laughs> finally, finally something happens in this video. Like and he signed up for that. 
And, oh no, I totally knew that this was part of the deal. When I started the vlog, I think I've actually bought a lot of time. I thought this would be part of it. Uh, Jerry, you have anything? No, I guess you need to look up stroke and tell oh. me I'm right. He wants me to look up stroke, okay. Let's tell Jerry the difference between a stroke and an aneurysm. No, I know the difference between a stroke and an aneurysm. But He's it, saying it. If the, the aneurysm bleeds, a it's a stroke. stroke. So here's the part where I read the definition of aneurysm, where Jerry is right. This is a blood vessel ballooning with blood because the vein is blocked or obstructed higher up. If this bulge, aneurysm bursts, blood enters and damages the brain. When this happens, it is referred to as a hemorrhagic, you know how to say hemorrhagic. that? Right? Hemorrhagic. Yeah. Hemorrhagic stroke. While brain aneurysms are less frequent than ischemic strokes, they are more deadly. So, it's a kind of stroke. He wins. He wins. He's right. He wins. He gets to be right. And the prize? I get upset and blow an aneurysm. <laughs> <laughs> and die right here in the car on the way to the doctor. So, you won! Isn't it great? <laughs> oh, this family. <laughs> Yay me. Yay you. Well, we'll see Somehow, it. does this seem like a great Do you prize? feel like a winner? You feel like you won. And don't make me mad. <laughs> right. There went, now, now that's now no... she's got a new <laughs> weapon. Okay. There's another card to play. I cannot feel any strong emotions right now. Yep. Yeah. You'll have to be nice. Always. I would imagine and that's... calm. That's because strong emotions raise your blood pressure. And I'm actually on medicine to lower my blood pressure. So I imagine as long as I well, stay on that medicine, I'm okay. Probably to keep you safe, they need to give me some medicine to lower my blood pressure. <laughs> Maybe just a sedative. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe just something to knock him out. All yeah. better girl all the time. I can think of other medicines. Yeah. <laughs> this is some lovely August weather. And this is an anniversary. This oh, is, really? Yeah. It's the this is the fourth anniversary in 2014. This is the day I started the vlog. <laughs> What'd you do that day? Went to Benny's, Benny's birthday. birthday. He oh. was six. Yay! 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 Starting year five. Yeah, with a bang. We hope not. <laughs> no, no bang. No Pop. bang. No popping. No pops. No bangs. No pops. No bangs. No pops. No bangs. No 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 Calm down. Okay. Oh, no, you're getting too excited. <laughs> strong emotions. No strong emotions. <laughs> I'm going to a concert with Vicky, but it's but it's Daryl Hall and John Oates. I should be just fine. Yes, they remain seated. They remain seated. No more mosh pits, I think. Yeah. The performer. Me. Oh. <laughs> My aneurysm. That you know, three million people have. Waiting to meet the doctor. Yay. Oh, that might be fun to have him to go. They have really big exam rooms. This is a huge exam room. Is it? This is the same size as my bedroom, don't you think, Jerry? This one? Yeah. I think the one next door is bigger. Mm -hmm. There's one that's bigger. There it is. Oh, there goes my battery. We gotta change battery. Look. It's a brain. Yeah. I just want to make sure that I'm understanding what the focus of today is. Yeah, me too. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're on the same page, but I'm not sure. Okay, I thought we were here to talk about the aneurysm primarily. Okay. Uh, um, this is, that's kind of my area is, is okay. blood vessels and um, problems with stroke and all that, so okay. aneurysm and all that sort of stuff. So that's what I focus on. Okay. So, what do you know about aneurysms? I Googled it. I found out that lots and lots of people have them and don't know that they have them. True. And that a sixth it's the six millimeter that we're looking at is not terribly large. But it's all about where it is, and since I haven't seen the images, I didn't know where it was. I only I had I don't have a radiology report, I haven't seen the images. Okay. Um all right, there you're off to a good start. So um aneurysm are just weak spots in the blood vessels, and as you say, a fairly large number of people have them 
live their whole lives will never know they had it and never be hurt, never be hurt by it. We'd love to be able to tell which ones are the ones that are going to get us into trouble and treat only those. Um, but we're not there. Um, we do have a number of things that we use to talk about risk and size is certainly important, important location is important, family history is important. Your aneurysm actually is kind of hard to see here. They read it as an ophthalmic aneurysm and an ophthalmic uh, is just like it sounds, it's, we name the aneurysms for the branch that they're closest to. And so the ophthalmic artery comes off the carotid artery just in behind the eye and is the little artery that goes out and supplies the globe of the eye. Um, and they read it as an ophthalmic, and I don't actually agree with that. I think it's a little lower than the ophthalmic. Oh, okay. and, and in that particular area, um, millimeters matter, because that location, right around where that artery arises, uh, is where the artery actually pierces a membrane called the dura, and then becomes intracranial. So it's connected, so then after, after the ophthalmic artery, uh, the ophthalmic artery varies a little bit, but it's a, it's a sort of a, a loose descriptor. After the ophthalmic artery, the blood vessels are in the same space as the brain. Okay. So if the aneurysm ruptures, it can hurt the brain. Right. Before the right. ophthalmic artery, it's outside it, the dura. It's outside the dura, and a rupture there isn't going to hurt the brain. Not and not only that, it's extremely rare that they rupture in that location. Oh. They can get quite large uh, over time, and they can start pushing on cranial nerves, the nerves that control movement of the eyes. But most of the time, most rational people won't treat those aneurysms okay. unless they get big enough that they're pushing on the nerves and um, causing double vision. Double vision. Oh. So I, I think yours yours is just kind of in that transition area, and and actually the. I, I found the MR really hard to interpret. Uh, oh. th th just, it's just not a super crisp uh, picture of the aneurysm. That's really going to be necessary. So the little bulge is right in here. Okay. Oh, and, I see why it's so tall. And, and yeah, so there's the eye. Okay. And let's see if we can actually, there's the ophthalmic artery right there. That's going to track that out. It's going to go out and supply the eye. But so it's, definitely right by the ophthalmic artery, but I actually think that the, the, the ophthalmic arteries, uh, the infradural ones, typically uh, point superiorly, and this one's kind of pointing inferiorly, so it's, it's down in that space. And I have yet to see an aneurysm in that location bleed. Oh. I keep waiting for somebody to come through the room with one. There's a couple of locations, because we, we, we treat them and we're comfortable with them when they get certain certain size, but, right. but I, this is kind of all I've done for comfortably over 20 years, and I've, I've yet to see one at that location leave. So, I, if I were you, uh, I don't think I'd do too much about this. But watch it. Yeah, but of course. Right, because if it got a lot bigger, gonna get, it's going to get double vision. You're going to get no shortage of MR scans. All right. No shortage. <clears throat> no. So no it's, not gonna, it's not, it's not going to be an extra burden for you to track this and follow it and see if it no, gets bigger. No, it's not. It's yeah. just one more. I got a frequent flyer card. I'm yeah, sure. Do they, um, what would need to be that MRA? Yeah. <laughs> but that's, but there's a good chance that's why, that's why they didn't see this before because right. the MRI right. can easily miss uh, an aneurysm, particularly in that location. Okay. It would be easy to miss that. Yeah. So, um, I, you know, I think by far the, the smart move is just uh, get a follow up MRA in a year. If it's stable, then I'd say get another one in three years, oh. five years, something, start spreading it out so you don't have to do it every year. Okay. Again, because relatively small, good location. We are out. We saw the, met the doctor. He's leaving. <laughs> so he won't be my doctor. And he was only for the aneurysm, which we don't have previous images so it turns out it could be just stable and he's never seen anybody have a ruptured aneurysm in that location. Is that the bottom line, guys? Yep. So Tang's okay. Tang is done and okay. See you in a year kind of thing. And we are on to working on Tang. I just called and left a voicemail with an office to see a doctor about Tang. So we don't have any answers on why I have this headache. So I have it, and I'm going to see if the tumor is involved another day. The plot continues.
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. God bless.